All right, bit of an interesting question here, Tim. How mad do you need to be to purchase RTX 4080 for the VRAM and not much else? <laughs> so basically, I guess if you put this sort of in a ser more serious context, you, you want maybe you're looking at spending close to $1,000 US on a graphics card, so RTX 4070 Ti, that popped up, and you thought, oh, this is what I want, but then you were not super wrapped with getting just 12 gigabytes of VRAM at that price tag, so... And I've seen a lot in the comments, people like, well, I wanted to buy that, that was the card I'd planned on buying, but I guess now I'm forced to buy an RTX 4080 for well, like $1,200 US thereabouts, because mm -hmm. I want the 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, yeah, I mean, how mad would you be? I know, like... No one put a gun to your head and made you buy it. I guess it can be a bit frustrating and annoying that NVIDIA aren't giving you more VRAM, but yeah, there are various reasons for that. Uh, it's a lot more expensive. Like, I think that's one of the key considerations. It's not like it's a little bit more, like 4070 Ti is like... US. Yeah, yeah, 400 US is what? It's like 50% more than $800 mm. card. So mm. that's, that's a big premium to pay just for VRAM. And obviously it's a faster card, so that gives you some benefit as well. But I think if you're just deciding on VRAM, you know, you have to weigh it up between like 12 gig is almost certainly going to be okay for most games today. Mm -hmm. And we've seen that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, is it you save $400 now and you put that towards your next GPU upgrade and you upgrade a bit sooner to Which something? I think it'd be the better way to go about yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's probably a better way than sort of buying the, the more future-proof card today. And we've talked many times in these Q&As about how buying the future-proof product doesn't typically work out to be the better choice than buying the more sensible product now and then just upgrading a bit more often. Yep. So I imagine that would apply here as well. But again, it's a difficult discussion because the 4080 is faster. So yeah, you, you yeah, are going to be benefiting yep. from, from the faster product. Yeah, obviously if there was a Radeon GPU at the same price point that had you know 20 gigs of VRAM, which there kind of is, then that's also a viable alternative um, if you're willing to go with a Radeon GPU. There are various reasons for why you may not want to do that, so mm -hmm. completely understand. Uh, but yeah, that, that would be a strong argument for something like a 7900 XT, because what's that, like 8 gigs more VRAM on that thing? Yeah. And they're roughly the same price at the moment. I think it might even be cheaper, the Radeon GPU in some regions. Depends. I think a little cheaper. I yep. think they've started to fall below $800 US, mm -hmm. so that gives it a small price advantage. But as you say, you know, people might be swayed by DLSS as an example. Or something. Oh, there, there are plenty of reasons so. for why you'd buy a Radeon GPU. There's certain games where the GeForce drivers are typically just better. Um, Fortnite is one of them. Um, typically, the drivers there are better, especially when they have new season updates and stuff like that. You can get a lot of stuttering with Radeon GPUs. I haven't explored that in a lot of depth for quite a few months now, but probably six months, but a while ago that was a problem. So we're not saying, you know, you would buy the Radeon GPU for the VRAM, but it is, it's a compelling reason like what we saw with the RTX 3070 and RX 6800. Uh, it's almost certainly going to be a better ray tracing product in XM insert years, like, you know, two yeah, years, yeah. three years, four years. It's hard to say at this point. But what we do know is 12 gigabytes of VRAM is quickly becoming sort of right on the edge of what's acceptable for high-end gaming. For, yeah. for mid-range to low-end, I think it's perfectly fine. Ideally, we'd like more, but I, I, I think it's perfectly fine. But yeah, like I said, what, $800 US for 12 gigs? That's rough. Yeah. Rough.